what is going on guys welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel if you're new taylor here you guys just saw what i'm looking like at 136 pounds so since my last check-in which was about a week and a half ago there hasn't been any real major change in weight it has been kind of fluctuating between 135 to 137 so it is down a little bit um, i am feeling a lot tighter feeling a lot more energized and more clear-headed so that's great um, my lifts are still going awesome in the gym and my training split has not changed um, for cardio, we have increased cardio. So last week during our update, we decided to do five days of 45 minutes on incline walk on the treadmill or a higher intensity walk outdoors. Um, when I say higher intensity walk outdoors, I would add in some hills and keep the pace consistent. So the calorie burns are pretty much the same when it comes to the incline walk on the treadmill. And then we have one sixth session at 30 minutes. So been doing that for the past couple of days, been feeling really good about it. As for macros, my macros did change a few days ago. So we are down to 130 carb 40 fat and 140 protein and then we have one refeed day honestly i usually don't like to share my macros too often here because it is subjective to the person and their body their metabolism and their activity levels so as you guys may know if you've been following me for the past couple of years my metabolism is not the fastest although i have done you know bulking phases and calorie surplus phases i am just the type of person that kind of has to operate on lower calories and that's just sort of how it is so um, I do feel pretty good on lower calories anyways. I don't have a super high appetite. I also just think it's super important to make nutritious choices. You know, higher volume foods that are gonna keep you feeling full longer. Um, higher protein diets also tend to keep you feeling full longer, which is awesome. So if you guys did watch my video last week, you know that I am currently in a cutting phase, which is why macros and calories are dropping down a little bit lower. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, like I said, I'm feeling pretty good. So this morning we woke up we cleaned the apartment picked out our gym fit which you saw is from tlf i actually did change into a bigger baggier hoodie from tlf because i'm going into starbucks now to do some work and i do find it's always really cold there but i do have my little raincoat that i showed you guys earlier here with me for when i go into the gym it's super lightweight for cardio so i will be changing back into this when i go to the gym later but um yeah i had my breakfast i had 150 grams of egg whites one whole egg some hot sauce an english muffin and one piece of turkey bacon that is like my staple breakfast for the most part unless i have french toast right now so that's what i went ahead and ate and then got in the car and drove here to starbucks so i have not had a coffee yet and my body is like please give me some caffeine and i do have a handful of things to do for work today so i'm gonna head on in to starbucks and get a couple hours of work Done. I'm an online coach for those of you who don't know so I have some client check-ins to do today if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I do post more daily content there it's just at tbaker tucker all of my links and everything are linked down below for you if you like the outfit I picked out today from TLF the website is linked down below for you as well and you can say with the exclusive code TLF dash TBT but it is time for me to get some work done it is around 12 o'clock and I want to get things rolling to start this Monday off strong and I'll see you guys in the next clip just finished up at Starbucks. I do still have tons of work left to do, but I was in there for about two hours, got all my client check-ins and updates done and freebie work done. So now I'm going to head to the gym to break things up a little bit. I do have 45 minutes of cardio to do today, so I'm probably going to do some work on my phone, get the cardio done, and then go home and eat, do my like pre-workout meal, and then head back to the gym again to work out. If I'm feeling pretty good while I'm in there and it's not too busy, I might just do both at the same time. Usually, I like to have a meal before I work out. The last thing I ate was breakfast and it is around 2.30. So it's been a couple of hours since my first meal and I was not prepared. I did not bring anything with me, but put my head down, I got into work and here we are. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take some pre-workout. Usually I would go in and do a scoop of Nitro Surge along with Pump Surge. Nitro Surge is a caffeinated pre-workout, so it has stims in it. This one here is a stim-free pre-workout. I really like using the stim-free pre, especially just for cardio because I find it just helps with focus, motivation. I'm a little bit hungry right now and I do find it hard to focus when I'm hungry. So nootropics and things like that definitely help a lot. Um, if I do decide to train while I'm in there, I'll go ahead and take a scoop of nitro as well. You can combine them. You can take them separately. It's really up to you whether or not you want to use just a pump product and a stim-free product or you want to use the full 
pre-workout. But as you guys know, if you've been following along here on my channel or my Instagram, I have been using the combo of Nitro Surge and Pump Surge for years. And I do have a discount code for you. It is just code TBT at Jacked Factory. That is linked down below. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a scoop of the Cherry Limeade. The Cherry Limeade is and always will be, I think, my favorite flavor of pre-workout from Jacked Factory. And I feel like it's just because it was like the first one that I started using consistently. I always have Cherry Limeade on hand no matter what. I'm gonna go ahead and dry scoop this. You do not have to dry scoop your pre-workout. It's just quicker, honestly. And I have this water here still from Starbucks. I'm just gonna wash it down with this. So cheers, here we go. It's so sour. I also did a coffee misto for my coffee, which is half steamed milk, half coffee. I do it with almond milk because it's a little bit lower cal than regular milk or oat milk. And I do three stevia and a venti because I like it sweet. I am definitely gonna need a big meal in me after this workout or cardio session. So gonna think about what I'm gonna have while I'm doing some cardio and I'll report back to you. I will chat with you guys in a little bit. We are home, back in our comfy oversized hoodie, honestly, because I was just super sweaty after that cardio. I was gonna stay and finish my workout, but it was packed in there. A bunch of like after school people, I guess, started showing up and your girl is friggin' starving. So I am going to lift. I'm gonna go train shoulders and arms in a little bit and I'm gonna have a quick snack. I would normally have like a full meal. Obviously, I haven't had a meal since breakfast and it is around 3.30, 4 now, which is super late. You saw that I had some EAAs. So I had EAA surge from Jack Factory in the strawberry flavor. It is so good. It kind of curbed my appetite for a little bit, but now it's time for a snack, so I'm gonna mix up a little pre-workout snack and then we are going to hit the gym. All right, so we're gonna do a serving of this puffed wheat cereal. Super great option for a lower carb alternative to cereal and also very light for before the gym with a little bit of this authentic ISO protein powder. So I'm gonna do a scoop of this mixed up with some cashew milk and that's gonna be our little pre-workout meal. And there you have it. All right, so it's time to go work out. I just sent off the email that I needed to send off and I'm still pretty hungry and still want something light. So I'm gonna go in with this Rice Krispie. This is the birthday cake flavor. It is literally so good. I'm gonna open it for you guys so you can see what it looks like. So it has like a coating on the bottom and then the sprinkles and everything on the top. I did change into this light top and my TLF sweats just because the outfit that I had on before I got super sweaty from cardio. And honestly just wanted to wear something a little bit comfier, lightweight, loose. So we're going to head on back to the gym again. I'm gonna go train shoulders. I'll let you guys know how the workout goes, but Rice Krispies are definitely the GOAT pre-workout snack. Simple carbs, get it in quickly. Really easy to digest and gives you that extra little pump. So if you haven't tried Rice Krispies for your pre-workout little snack, I highly recommend that you try it out. It has definitely been a go-to for me for the last, say, five to six months. So I'm gonna go in, eat this, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. So we're back from the gym. As you can see, we're getting some meal prep done. I'm gonna go ahead and snack on this deli meat. I just need to get some extra protein in and I'm a little bit hungry and I wanna have a snack for post-workout. So I'm gonna do a couple pieces of this and then once our meat is all cooked up and ready, we are gonna go ahead and have some actual dinner. So 100 grams of Black Forest ham deli meat. I know it's a really sad looking meal snack, but it is a great way to get protein in super quick. So if this is two servings here, so it's around 100 grams, which is around 19, 20 grams of protein. So definitely a quick and easy way to get your protein in if you're looking to get that intake up and for something quick and simple that you can kind of just pull out of your fridge just like I did today. So I'm gonna go ahead, eat this, and then I'll chat with you guys in a few minutes. Decided to go ahead and finish off some more meal prep. So you have some extra lean ground turkey seasoned here with taco seasoning and roasted red peppers and garlic seasoning. And then we have some air fryer potatoes. So this will do me for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna go ahead and finally put together my dinner out of this here. So I ended up getting a shower while everything was cooking up really quickly. As you can see, my hair is wet. Um, I personally love potatoes. Where they're a starchier carb, um, I find that I'm really full after I eat them, full for a longer period of time compared to something like an English muffin or Rice Krispies like I had earlier, things that like sit lighter. So I personally love to have potatoes 
every day or every couple of days if I can, especially when calories are low. I'll have a few for one meal to help fill me up a little bit. That's been kind of the kick that I'm on lately. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up a bowl of ground beef and potatoes, maybe some Greek yogurt, cheese, and hot sauce or something. Make a little bowl out of it. But that's going to be like my main big meal. Obviously, today was a little bit weird for eating. It was super busy. I ended up being on my laptop for way longer than I thought I was going to and running around back and forth to the gym. But we have our meal prep done for the next couple of days. Staying on track, staying prepared is key. If you guys are not meal prepping and cooking up your food in advance and planning your day in advance, then things will go haywire. Obviously for me, I've been tracking macros for a long time, so I don't stress about when I have days like today. I'm always able to kind of pull something together because I have lots of ideas and things in my head um, just from doing this for so long. But if you are somebody who's first starting tracking macros, flexible dieting, or tracking your calories in general, General, it always helps to plan out your day well in advance and have food cooked so Mondays I usually cook up a bunch of stuff and then midweek I will do it again and then the end of week or weekend if I need to I will top all of my like meal prepped favorite items up so yeah, um, that's my little spiel on that. I've honestly just been picking away at some work. It is getting pretty late now, so going to probably have another snack or meal after this one, and that'll be it for tonight. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix up something. I will show you what it looks like once it's all finished. All right, so 150 grams of potatoes and 160 grams of beef. You need a little bit extra because my meals today were super light, and we're gonna top it off with some light cheese. Fats are pretty low also today, so trying to kind of make the most of these last couple of meals. They are obviously going to be a little bit higher calorie than the rest of my snacks and meals today, but there you go. So we have 21 grams of light cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and microwave this. So we have 65 grams of plain fat-free Greek yogurt as kind of like a sour cream substitute added. The cheese is now melted on the mixture and then some Buffalo Franks hot sauce on top. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into this meal. So it's time for the last meal or snack of tonight. So we're going to go in with one of these Weight Watchers bagels. These are a little bit lower calorie than normal bagels and honestly they taste the exact same to me. So for one bagel we're looking at one and a half fat, 30 carb, and 7 grams of protein. So a little bit extra protein in this here. I'm going to go in with this Adam's Dark Roast Creamy Peanut Butter. This is natural peanut butter so we'll do about 25 grams of this. And then we're going to do 30 grams of this Authentic ISO from Jacked Factory. You guys already know you can use my code TBT to save from Jacked Factory. That is linked down below for you. So a protein shake mixed with some cashew milk and a bagel and peanut butter is going to be our last snack of this evening. 